Sneaker unboxing. I have five pairs of kicks that we're gonna be taking a look at. Now, most of you guys already know because I copped all these during my live stream. These are all Nike and Jordan sneakers because there really hasn't been any Adidas Yeezy shoes that have dropped. Besides those Yeezy 380 peppers, which I'm still waiting for those to be delivered. That's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. If you do enjoy these haul videos, make sure to leave a like and let me know down in the comments. Let's dive into it. Let's start off with some heat. A lot of you guys out there might wanna look away because that canceled L might still sting. These cactus plant flea market Air Force Ones. This, I would have to say, is probably my best manual cop so far. I know we had a lot of great shoes that dropped this year, but I've taken a lot of L's. I mean, it was a shock drop on the Cactus Plant Flea Market website. I was about to turn off the stream and just call it a day. No, we stuck it through for that final two minutes and they ended up shock dropping. And a lot of people in the chat ended up getting W's. I think most of the chat got W's on this release. However, they canceled a lot of orders. Let's take a look at it. Oh, the box is just a regular Air Force One box. Nothing special here. Whew. Yeah, man. These are so clean. These are designed after the Uptempo 96. And the Uptempo 96 is one of my favorite sneakers during my childhood. I had like at least three to four pairs of those growing up. I think my, I remember my mom and begging my mom for those and I love the look of it. It's very simple, it's very clean. So the right shoe here just says air right and big and then on the left shoe says sunshine i probably wouldn't like these as much if it did air or flea and the quality of these whew, is top notch the leather is so soft and it just feels so buttery and then the leather is also on the inside of the sneakers so that leather they just kept continuing with it and just kind of stitched it all the way on the inside now the whole writing on the shoe is pretty big and loud white on white nice crispy and clean there is 3m on the outline of the letters which is cool so if you do hit it with the flash it does light up but these are gonna get extremely dirty where's my drip grip right here so i will put my drip grip sole protectors on these shoes for real so you basically slap these on, it will protect the bottom of the shoe so they won't get really too dirty. I'll put the link down below in the description. If you use code ROSCOE10, you can save 10% off on your order. If you guys are interested, sole protectors, drip grip, use code ROSCOE10. I'm gonna throw these on this shoe right here for sure and keep these nice, crispy, and clean. But let me know what you guys think. They had white, and then they had a triple black. Triple black isn't really reselling for a lot. I think those only go for 250. If I can get my hands on a size 12 triple black, I will definitely cop them. Uh, especially now going into fall and winter rather than these white ones, I might hold off and keep them clean. I think these are going for about 450 and I can only see these keep going up. That's the one pair of kicks. Let's move on to the others. All right, so the next pair of kicks we're gonna take a look at is a pair of Jordan 1 Lows. Now, I thought for sure that this year would be the year of the Jordan 1 Lows, but it really hasn't been. I know they've been pushing it out like crazy, but I feel like it would have just popped off a little bit more. They released the Travis Scott Lows, the Eric Costin SB Lows, and then when you got into 2020, there has been tons of colorways, but I feel like it's just been totally overshadowed by the Nike Dunk Low, which is a very similar silhouette. I feel like this colorway is definitely one of the best ones so far. This is a pair of reverse bread Jordan 1s. I feel like these were a little bit tricky to get. Not a lot of people knew when these were dropping. Fortunately, I could not grab my size. This is a size 10 and a half. I would like to get my size in this shoe, but right now I really don't want to pay resale for it. So this is a pair of reverse Jordan 1 lows, and these are nice. Now these are really nice. It's just basically the reverse colorway. You have red and black. I really like it. I think the colorway looks awesome, but to me personally, they are okay. I do like them, but I prefer the SB version of these Jordan 1 lows. I feel like the Wings logo is a little bit too big on the side rather than you know, the Wings logo would have a big patch here on the uh, SB version. They are nice, 
but I feel like if they released more of the SB Jordan 1 lows this year, I feel like those would have popped off way more. The quality isn't the best. They are a little stiff and hard, um, so they're not top notch, but again, they're $90. They mass produced them. I might end up picking up my size because I do like the lows, man. The lows are dope, and I do have a pair of shadows which I picked up earlier, which is right here. So here is the shadows. These are really, really nice. I mean, you've seen these everywhere. It took a while for these to sell out. So I ended up having reverse breads, and now I have the shadows. The only difference between the two that I just noticed is that they have the 23 here on the uh, tongue, rather than they don't have them on the reverse breads. Probably because a lot of people complained. I think when they put the 23 on the gym reds, people started getting upset. Let me know what you guys think. This is my second pickup. Now, I'm, the more I look at them, it's like the more I like. So let me know what you guys think of the reverse bread Jordan 1 lows. All right, so the next pair of kicks is actually a Delay W. Now, I wasn't gonna go back and buy these. However, during a live stream, Cameron in the chat offered and these for a crazy good price that I couldn't refuse. This is actually my first pair of Air Jordan 1 highs here in 2020. I just can't manage to cop these for retail. Smoke Grays, L. Game Royal, L. Court Purple, L. These are just different. Wow. Talk about crazy colorway. I give Jordan brand a hard time sometimes because I feel like the colorways can be very repetitive, especially on the Air Jordan 1. But this one, ever since I saw images of, I wanted this one. Now the inspiration behind this is a old Nike Dunk High. It was called the Biohacks. They basically took that colorway and they slapped it on an Air Jordan 1 and it just totally makes sense because of this year, how popular the Nike Dunks are. You know, you have navy blue on the toe box, brown on the heel, you have a bright mint green sole. And then you also have on the toe box, you have this aqua turquoise blue. Man, <laughs> this colorway is absolutely crazy. And then of course the swoosh is in like a silver metallic. Uh, the only thing I'm not really a huge fan of on this sneaker is how it's kind of flaps up here. I wish they kind of made that all one piece. I think it looks good. The quality is really good. The toe box is so nice. The leather quality is really good. Like this is overall a really good Jordan 1. Awesome, awesome sneaker. Now it does come with an extra set of laces, pink laces. <laughs> so that inside pink on the shoe, they give you an extra set of laces in that same color. So for me personally, I think I'm gonna switch my right shoe out with the pink laces. I like to go half and half. I feel like this shoe is only gonna keep going up. I think by the end of the year, these will be 350. Let me know what you guys think. Copper drop, the Biohack Air Jordan 1. All right, so the next pair of kicks I got is actually a pair of Air Jordan 5. Now, a lot of people were excited for this pair of kicks. I mean, when it came to release day, they sold out instantly on the Seekers app. They were a little bit tricky to get. You know, I ended up copying them on finish line. Been a few weeks now since they've been out. People have been dumping them. It seemed like people did a complete 180 on the shoe and I honestly, I don't know why. I have taken a look at them and I think they're actually kind of cool. So here they are, the Apple Green Air Jordan 5. Now I don't know the official name for this pack. If this is supposed to be like the Jersey pack or something because they have done something similar with this last year in 2019 with the Michigan Air Jordan 5, where they basically took the colorway of the University of Michigan, they slapped it on an Air Jordan 5. Now this one, they did the same, but with the Oregon colors, the Oregon colors in Nike, they go side by side. I mean, Nike's headquarters is in Oregon and having that on the colorway of the shoe, I thought that would do better, honestly, but, I, now I know kind of why they don't do that well is because everyone will look at this and think of the Oregon PE and that kind of makes sense like this is seems like kind of like I don't know you have the more expensive version and then you just get the cheaper version and that will always hurt it and they can't put the logo on the shoe if they put the logo on the sneaker man these would would hit people would go nuts for them because you got the duck on the back, that duck with the yellow scarf hits off of the yellow on the side of the shoe, but they can't do that. 
and that's why you got this sort of jersey patch on the back. It's weird. Why did they put the jersey patch on the back of it? It just says quality products inspired by the greatest basketball player ever. I don't know, like they should have put something else back there, but I get it. They did it with the Michigans. They're going to do it again with, you know, the Oregons. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get something similar to this next year in 2021, maybe a UNC five or maybe another Jordan sponsored uh, team. I wouldn't be surprised if we get something similar to this next year, but it's a nice green. I love the yellow. I love the 3M on the tongue. I actually wore them with a pair of brown swishy pants from Supreme and the brown tones with the green. Like this is a really nice fall color sneaker. I don't think these will go up crazy in the resale market. I think they will do better in the long run than the Michigans. I like it. I think this is definitely one of the better fives. Better than the Bel Airs, better than the alternate grapes. I think these retail for 225 rather than the regular Jordan price is 190. So you are paying a little bit more for that patch on the back. <laughs> I like them. I think these are solid. I think these are dope. Let me know what you guys think of the Apple Green Air Jordan 5. Okay, last but not least, this is the Air Jordan 14 Hyper Royal. Pretty tricky to get. Again, everything with Jordan has been selling out this year. Now these are nice. They're nice. I'm not too crazy for them because there's really not much going on. It's basically just white in that hyper royal blue. But I like 14s. I'm one of those people that actually like 14s. The last pair of 14s I got was actually the Desert Sand 14s, which happened, I think came out in 2018. This one, they just kind of reversed it or they kind of just switched it from the 2019 Rip Hamilton. Wherever it's blue here, it was red. <laughs> um, and they just swapped it out and they put that hyper royal blue. Like I said, I like 14s. I like how they look on feet. 14s are actually a really good shoe to play ball in till this day. I actually kind of like working out in 14s. They're super comfortable. The leather quality is really good with all those perforated holes on the side. I love the 23 on the back of the heel. Uh, 14s are super slept on, man. You know, what kind of shocked me this year was actually the Toro. Those caught a lot of people by surprise. Those sold out instantly. That all red 14 that they dropped uh, earlier this year. Uh, but this is the second one now here in 2020 and you got the Hyper Royal Blue. Maybe one day there'll be a crazy collaboration on a 14 and they'll explode. It won't happen anytime soon. That is actually all the sneakers I picked up. If you do enjoy these haul videos, let me know down in the comments. That is my video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.